one thing I would I would tell you, and I tell our young quarterbacks all the time, is when you come out every day in practice, work on something. What kind of things do you do to make it like more game-like other than just being fast? Just take my eyes over there as late as possible. So hit them, and then I'll come up, and I got to find them right now and throw it. So you're just trying to make everything quick, like quick twitch? Just as hard as possible. Yeah. All right, you want to throw a little? Following a strong performance at the NFL Combine, UCLA's Josh Rosen is now back at his old stomping grounds in Westwood, California, where he's been preparing for his final major test before the NFL Draft. How's it feel to be back? Excited. It's yeah. fun. Started this journey, you know, working out out in Orange County. You got to the Combine. Today's your pro day. It's sort of your last grand stage before you get into private workouts. How are you feeling about it? Feel good. It's good to be back on campus. I uh, got here this last Monday, uh, put the script together. We've, we've run through it a couple times, and I think we're, uh, uh, we're ready to get after it today. For Josh, the pro day is his last chance to prove himself both on and off the field in front of NFL scouts and coaches. Luckily for him, he got some one-on-one -on -one time with a guy that's been through this before, two-time MVP and Super Bowl champion, Aaron Rodgers. And Aaron Rodgers put it right on the money. Nobody in the NFL does that better than Aaron Rodgers. So anytime you're doing drill work, you know, you should do stuff to make it more difficult. I mean, if I can't throw the ball, perfect environment, on the money all the time, I can't play. Yeah. Everybody, everybody can do that. A lot of my throws are, I'm running full speed to evade a 4-6 pass rusher, and then the last second I flip and I throw it. Yeah. You know, that's, that's real football. Good day with Aaron on Monday. How do you uh, how do you think that went? Uh, I had a lot of fun with Aaron. It was uh, really helpful. He uh, taught me a lot uh, on and off the field, how to be a pro, how to conduct yourself. Back shoulder, remember, is a transition throw. What do you mean? I'm here, and I'm moving on second movement as a defender. Right when you do that, I'm transitioning to get to your top shoulder. As I transition, the ball's coming behind your head, so you have no chance. And then back shoulder in the, in the field is a reaction throw. A lot of what you're trying to do is just build in to make it like more reaction-based rather than thought-based. And do you just try to basically mess with yourself throughout practice and try mm. to create those situations? Yeah, I need a little stimulation out there. <laughs> yeah. I've been at it 13 years. You and Aaron seem to get along. You guys have, uh, do, you, do you think you guys have like similar personalities? Yeah, I think we have very similar personality types. Uh, he's a bit sarcastic and kind of jabbed each other a little bit. But um, it was all in good nature, it was a lot of fun, um, and it was an awesome morning. Every drop is different. It's tied to the route. You have to be ready to throw the ball in the right window. What would be different other than just hitching and not hitching? Um, the speed of the drop. So I can do a timing route and throw in a curl route. I gotta, I gotta get in there. Sometimes it's quick, and then sometimes, sometimes it's... And it's just based on the leverage of the guy the defender, and then making sure I'm not hitching twice. So you're, try, you're trying to take hitches off the back end and put it into your drop on the front end. Mm-hmm. And this is gonna be second nature, but it takes a while. That's a good one. Well, another beautiful day in Westwood for the UCLA Pro Day. Obviously, the star of the show was quarterback Josh Rosen. What do I expect today? I expect to see the most polished natural thrower in this draft. Josh put on a clinic during his pro day. He was able to reaffirm why he's considered one of the purest throwers in this year's class, with a wide array of passes from both under center and outside of the pocket. But whether he can sling it or not has never been a question. How are you doing? It's been a while. Yeah. It's how he conducts himself off the field that teams are still unsure of. Josh, must be nice to be back here at UCLA. What were your specific goals for the day? Uh, just to come out here, be efficient, complete all my passes, and uh, perform. How do you think you fit among the other QBs in your draft class? I think I put the ball where it needs to be, better than everyone else. Was there a little bit of nerves out there initially? Or? Not too bad. I mean, 
ball's ball. Same as it always is, just some more people watching. Uh, I was confident how I threw. Uh, receivers made some great catches, made me look good here and there, and uh, couldn't have asked for a better day. Yep. How we doing? It's good. <laughs> All right, here we go. Three, two. From your perspective, what did you think today? Uh, just wanted to show kind of jack of all trades. Whatever you want me to do, I'll do. I uh, tried to get some on the movement, in the pocket, put it on the sideline, deep, and everything. From my perspective, I think you're the most natural thrower of the ball I've seen in several years. So I'm fascinated by how easily the ball comes out of your hands. Aw, oh, shucks. <laughs> hey. You've been through a lot now of this process. What's it been like for you? You know, it, it really hasn't been too bad, um, at least to my face. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're always very kind when you're sitting in press conferences, but I mean, it's it's right. been awesome. Well, listen, I thought you did a great job today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I wish you well with the rest of the process. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks. Josh Rosen. Thank you, man. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, it's really nice meeting you, and I'm sincerely rooting for you. Hey. Thank you. With his pro day in the books, Josh is able to take a moment to relax with the rest of the incoming rookies at the Athletes First Classic Charity event. For BYU linebacker Fred Warner, it's an opportunity to reflect on his strong combine performance before heading into his pro day. The combine, I mean, everybody watches it on TV and thinks that it's just like the field stuff. But like when you're going through it, like the biggest test is just like your mental toughness. It's like just getting through all the medicals, MRIs, x-rays, and then you got interviews with the actual team. I thought I did well in, in everything. Walked away and felt like I helped myself a lot after the combine, so it was good. Now that the combine's over, I get a chance to, you know, wind down a little bit. Um, first time being at the Athletes First Classic and meet all the pros. So we get to chat them up a little bit, hit some balls. So it should be a good time. As the rookies hit the links, it's a chance to rub elbows with NFL vets and take a short break from their training. For Fred Warner, it's a chance to try something new. Oh, oh baby! No! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Pretty close though. Oh, well, yeah, I was close. You're really good. You're a really good golfer. Okay. Ooh. 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 Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> The weekend also includes a gala, where the opportunity to soak in advice from other NFL vets proves invaluable to the rookie class. Bro, the only thing you do is work your butt off and listen. That's the best thing you do. Don't try to come in and try to do your own thing, anything like that. Listen to the older guys, fit into the program, and be as, like, as, as old linemen, we, it's your group, so yeah. your brothers. So yeah. 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 Works, works. Uh, growing what you know, man. What you know right now is being a good football player. Just live gritty and live right by the facility and, and you know, just be a gym rat. Be a, you know, every day you should be doing something to get better at your craft and master being the best at what you're, what you're doing, what you're doing right now is football. The night is a celebration, but that is short-lived. For the rookies, there is still work to be done. Their dreams of the NFL are within reach. Now more than ever, the pressure is on.